back to the Artie Lag Show. I'm here with actress, model, sort of comedian. I'm going to give her some props there. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, Melanie Iglesias. That's a big compliment. Thank you. Oh, of course. Well, you made Donnell laugh. I, well, uh, now, I guess I can put on my resume. Now, is it hard with, for Donnell and you guys all in your 20s? And, of course, Donnell uh, just celebrated his 65th birthday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen a lot of the show because I'm just old and all I watch is Sports Center now. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I must say, like, you're stunningly beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have a lot of options in this business. You really got to make sure you, you do the right thing. I'm trying so hard to do the right thing. You yeah. just never know until it actually... Do you want to be on a sitcom, or what do you want to do? You want to be you a know, movie? You know, I, I don't care if I never do a movie or a sitcom. Um, ultimately, I mean, I'm making really good money what I'm doing now, and I love it because I'm having fun, and right. I get to use my influence for, you know, for things that I, for causes that I believe in, but... You're um, already doing causes? Yeah. God, I'm not even up to that. I haven't <laughs> done one cause ever. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> what causes? Like, what are you into? My little brother has autism. Oh, well, so... actually, I have done stuff. That's a, well, that, that's that's good. That's but there's nice. other things I, I'm looking to get into in the future too. Right. But that's like one of the main causes that I'm really like pushing. So that's for. really close to your heart, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Extremely. And you say you make good money. What, what's good money? What do you make? Oh, I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. But more than I probably should. My job is really easy. <laughs> no, I mean you know we'll we'll uh, we'll take some guesses later. Uh, but so you don't want to go to L. A. and do the whole like you know. I never it's... aspired to do this. I kind of just got sucked into it. Now that I'm doing it, I would love to stay on television. Right. Um, you know, movie stuff I don't really think is for me. It's a good gig, TV. If you can get a, a gig where you get back end money, like points, that's the real cash. Yeah. You own the show. I bet, see, I bet that's what you could I, parlay. I would love to produce. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what you could parlay this into. Well, that's what I want to do. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Get ownership of a show. Forget and I, about it. Yes, and I, and I also want to, I love working with talent since I was a young girl. I've loved, like, discovering talent and singers and stuff like that. Yeah. And I hope to one day have my own agency. Really? That's what I, I want to help other people. Very ambitious. Yeah. But don't you want to be in front of you? of all people should be in front of the camera. Being front of, in front of the camera is very natural to me, but um, it's not something that I've ever aspired to do. That's what really? I'm trying. Yeah. I got really lucky. I'm really lucky right now. Yeah. Well, no, you, you, you should try to, I mean. Well, I'm going with it. I have an agent. Yeah, <laughs> I do, that, do, that, I do, do audition. <laughs> yeah. So what do you audition for, though? Just um, everything? Sitcoms. But, you know, um, with the MTV stuff, they kind of take really good care of me and keep me busy. Yeah. But I am um, I still auditioning for other things all the time. Oh, OK. Commercials and now stuff Now, our like announcer, that. Mike, is very attracted to you. Mike, would you like to say anything to Hi, Mike. Uh, Hi, how are you? I, you, uh, you? I heard you call my dad Julio. <laughs> oh, just kidding, that's not my dad. Yeah, that's his, uh, that's his, uh, that was so cute. charming. He's trying to be charming. <laughs> no, See, it's cute. working, Mike. I like it, it's cute. Th thank, uh, thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now, have, you ever have you ever dated a guy with a chin that big? The second chin? <laughs> <laughs> look at my chin, I really can't, like, say anything. Yeah, you're right, it's, you're, 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 it's I can barely look at it's you. It's pointy chin, very, I can cut glass with this thing. Oh, no. make, I can barely look at you, you're making me nauseous. <laughs> uh, when, when John was talking to me, it always happens to me when, like, Super attractive woman come in, I lose my train of thought. Super attractive? Yeah, he, he stopped talking. What's completely. your excuse when they're not here? <laughs> uh, losing your train of thought. Now, can you guess what color Mike's hair is? He dyes his hair. His natural hair? Yeah, you know, he dyes, that's, a, that's dyed. Oh. Can you guess what color it is? <laughs> I'm going to say red. Oh, thank you. I, a lot of people uh, would. But no, it's, it's actually chartreuse. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. He says that, I think, to seem important, like chartreuse. Are you sure it's uh, not mahogany or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's magenta. Yeah. Magenta sounds better than chartreuse. <laughs> really? My God. Switch it to magenta. <laughs> now, talk to me about girl code mm -hmm. and guy code. Like, explain exactly what, like, what's an example of girl or guy code? What's what an is, example? Okay, yeah. it's an example of guy code or breaking guy code. There are so many different ways to break guy code. Code. Right. Like whether you're like texting a girl like constantly all the time with no response that's from her. That's breaking guy code. That's if she's not responding to it. That's breaking guy code. That's breaking code. the law. I think. <laughs> yeah, that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, but even right. we even go into like little like smaller things that people really wouldn't expect us to talk about. I guess like even like something as far as body hair, the way you handle your body hair can be breaking guy code. Like you, <laughs> I think if you shave like your chest hair, that's breaking. Oh, it is. I think so. Really? But for me, yeah. that is because I don't want to cuddle with somebody who just shaved their chest because then it grows back and it's all prickly. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Ouch. So well, you other don't guys mind a guy with their arms no. now? They too. do. Yeah, arms and, and, I, and legs. But definitely, shaved. like the eyebrow stuff, I think is like 
Right. I don't like when guys do that, when they wax their eyebrows. Uh, why, no, no, I tell you, when they do that, uh, it does look odd. That's a guy code violation. Yeah, when a guy waxes, it's like, you ever see those guys who have a waxy, yeah. like, yeah. it yeah. almost looks like they drew it on. Yeah, it's really strange. A lot of Staten Island and Long Island guys do that. Now, what about a girl code thing? <laughs> um, so, my mom always taught me growing up, uh, whenever you go to a club or anywhere with your girlfriends, you have yeah. to leave with the girls that you came with. And, but if they want to go with a guy, it's fine. You just have to, like, make sure you know that. Don't, don't just leave the club without... Sorting everything out right. first, you know, make oh, sure okay. you know where everybody is. You <laughs> now, should ideally leave all together. How many people usually in the uh, posse of girls you go with? How many have? Oh, God, I have, whenever I go out, like if I yeah. go dancing, probably right. like six of us. You like going dancing? Yeah. Now, what are we, where is, uh, uh, like, when is a girl being, like, uh, slutty or promiscuous as far as... We don't like, use that word on Girl Code. What are, what are We're you trying use? to get that word banned. Because if you call yourself a slut or call other women a slut, you're just giving men the, a right to call you a slut. So I've I broken Girl Code already. It's been <laughs> well, you don't have to buy Girl Code. You're a guy. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, and guys, you never call a girl a slut to her face. Do you, would you ever, <laughs> yeah. like, have you done a one-night stand ever? Did you, did you ever do that? No, I, I actually... When I was a teenager, I tried that. I tried it, but it turned into a four-month relationship. You tried a one-night kind of stand that turned into a. Yeah. Uh, is your father just hearing about this? No, I don't. I think I've spoken about it before. Uh, and it turned into a four-month relationship. Yeah. Oh, so you like? Do you like being in a relationship? I don't like it, but I don't. Um, I, I require the guy to be exclusive with me if we're going well, that Well, I assume, route, yeah. Because you know? I don't want to give anybody bragging rights. Because even, it doesn't matter if it's me or somebody else down the street or whatever. Right. The, the guy's going to talk about the girl he's having sex with. Of you know? course. So I don't want to give anybody that right unless we're actually dating. <laughs> you, know? uh, you shouldn't. I mean, that would be terrible to have someone get that right without actually doing it. <laughs> a uh, lot of men already claim they, they do, and they haven't. Oh, so that's it's terrible. Like, if I've taken a picture with someone, it's like, oh, yeah, that, we took that picture because I hit that. Well, no, yeah. you didn't. Well, get ready for my Twitter. <laughs> uh, no, what, uh, have you ever dated a famous guy? Uh, that's a yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we'll take, we're going to take another break. I don't want to talk about my We're going to take another break, and I'm going to take some guesses when we come back. My first guest is uh, Brian Austin Green. No. Well, back after that. That's Megan Fox's man. Welcome back to the Audio Lag Show. <laughs> Sitting here with Melanie Iglesias. Hello. And uh, she is a star of Girl Code, Guy Court. Mm -hmm. uh, Girl Code, you've done two full seasons of that. Yep. And you want to own your own agency? You want to help people? Causes, all this stuff? My God. You're very, very ambitious. I'm a very generous person. <laughs> Are you? I don't, think so. I mean, I'm trying generous. to figure that out. My, I know, trust me, because I'm yeah. like, I like to help way beyond my means, and that's not good. Well, you seem very smart. You seem you seem street smart. Don't be naive. Don't give away your cash. In Brooklyn. Please. Yeah, you'll you become a mark. You'll become like these people. You know, if they find that you do every cause, they won't stop calling. Oh, no, you. I don't. I'm very, it has to mean something to me. So now, now, do you do anything besides the autism now? Not. I've done some breast cancer stuff, but uh, oh, wow. I, I'm looking to... I think the next stuff uh, I want to do is um, I want to help with the Philippines. So I think next month I'm going to probably do some sort of fundraiser. To do oh, right. Now, what you're saying, when you help, you, you run a fundraiser. Well, I have a store, an online store I sell posters. Oh, you do? But we donate to the charities that, I, that I'm... that Oh, no kidding. ...that I choose to work with. Oh, yeah. that's good. So do you do any, like, uh, personal appearances besides not stand-up, but, like, you'll go do a signing of something? Like yeah, a... I've been getting asked to, like, MC a bunch of events, which is hilarious. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if you get someone... If you were nervous about that and you want to do a few jokes up front, you know, you got to get someone to help you write, maybe, or would you want to write your own jokes? You think you could do that? Yeah, I mean, I, my delivery... I can write any joke. It's just my delivery sucks. I need practice. Well, you know, I, told you, <laughs> I don't I know how to work... I could work a room, but I think I'm just so you in my own head. You can work a room? Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, this is very I difficult. Can. No, I love being on the mic. I yeah. love like you know. I just um, I think when people are expecting that when you go to a stand-up show, you want to laugh. So it's already like, oh, this girl is not going to make me laugh. She's not funny. You know, right. if the audience is you feel like you gotta. Well, yeah. If you, they've never seen Girl Code or Guy Code, they're gonna just assume that I'm not funny. And I honestly don't really think I'm that funny either. So. Well, <laughs> well, then don't do comedy for crying out loud. <laughs> I bet, no, but MC is a different thing. You don't always have to be funny every two seconds. No, I they're know. Probably just to like be really seeing hyper. You. I'm yeah. an extremely hyper person. That'd be good money if you could MC stuff. Yeah. Corporate gigs and everything like that. Yeah, that's Melanie what Melanie from Girl Code, and you go to like I don't know Revlon or something, and. You introduce some product to the company. That's a lot of cash. Yeah, I've been doing stuff like that. Oh, like yeah? Going overseas. I went to Japan for Adidas, and I got to host an event that they did there. Oh, that, that must so have been fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Japan. Now, was that, a, was that like, uh, scary a little bit? I went by myself, and I went one day, well, just for, like, two nights. 
to and Japan? To Japan, just for this Adidas thing. Like a 20 and I was hour terrified. flight, right? I know. And then I was there for only 24 hours, and, no, 42 hours. And when I got back, oh. I literally was like bowing to everybody as soon as I got back to the States. That's the only really? thing I knew how to do there. Yeah, that's all I learned. Yeah, and they... I ate McDonald's every every meal because I'm just ignorant. <laughs> you didn't go to any Do you like sushi? I don't, I don't eat seafood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I'd rather eat whatever's in those mystery nuggets there. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't eat seafood, but you'll eat the meat at McDonald's. Yeah, chicken well, that's nuggets fantastic. taste the same in every country. It's you weird. are Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, they do. Somehow in Japan, it's like, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, you should do stuff for the troops. They ever ask you to do that? Uh, yeah, the the sea. They probably doors. love that. Yeah, I've been over there. I've been in <laughs> Afghanistan. Those guys would love to see you. <laughs> when are you going back? Uh, I, I doubt I'm going back. Oh. Uh, I would. I mean, but I the, I think it's towards the tail end of it. Yeah, well, I would like to do stuff like that. You I just haven't had the opportunity. Like that, right? Yeah, of course. Well, you could you could maybe do I'll that practice with my stand up over there. Maybe they'll laugh at all my jokes. I bet they, they would. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they would. Yeah. You would be very well received. <laughs> very well received. Uh, well, listen, this was uh, delightful. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Big fan. Thank yeah, you so well, much. Yeah, uh, well, listen, uh, come back Matt whenever TV. you want. Yeah, right. uh, whenever you want. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Co-host. We'll get rid of John for a night. <laughs> uh, Sounds good to and, me. And uh, Girl Code, <laughs> Guy Court, and look for a bunch of Tomorrow other, night. Uh, tomorrow night. A bunch yeah. of other things. Melanie Iglesias, and we'll be back after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.